When rendering particles or curves inside of Karma, you're probably going to want to be able to control the overall size of them. But it gets a little bit tricky and kind of weird, so I figured we would take a look at this. So I just have a quick scene set up here, just some particles in here with uh, material library, dome light, camera, and our render settings. I am using a XPU render. So for this, you may be wondering how we can go about controlling the actual size of our particles here. So if I just dive into our net here, you see we just have some particles and I'll be using these couple nodes here in a second to look at the curves. But if we go ahead and take a look at the points node, which you may be inclined to use, you can go ahead and set this to edit because we already have our points here. We're gonna go ahead and edit the values. So if we change the overall scale here, you can see that it's kind of working like a transform for the overall object, which is not what you're going to be wanting. So we're not actually going to use this. So go ahead and delete that. And if we select our points here, if we scroll down, we have this grayed out widths option, which you may want to try and edit the property and I'll put it at the end. Let's go ahead and just set that up here, bring our render settings back. And this just kind of messes with everything and it doesn't exactly work right. So if we restart our render, you can see that it doesn't really work. So we're not gonna wanna use that either, at least not for our points. So let's go ahead and dive into our soft create and how you normally control this, which is gonna be the way that I would recommend you do for the particles. It works a little bit different for curves, but for particles, we'll do a create attribute. Let's go ahead and wire this in here and we'll call this P scale because Karma can read this and we'll go ahead and set this to one. And once we have this, you'd see that it is now affecting the size of our particles. So we can come back in here. Obviously that is too big of a value. So let's set this down to like 0 0.01 and see our particles are a lot smaller. Now that may be a little bit too small. Let's set this to like oh, 0 0.1. See what that gives us. That's not too bad. Maybe a little bit big still, but if we take a look down here, so it's still a little bit weird. So we can select our widths here, which is effectively our P scale. You see that it is going to be 0.2. And if I go ahead, set this down from 0.1 to, to 0 0.05, come back up here, you see that it is now 0.1. So for some reason, I'm not really sure why, and this is the same for curves, it's going to set this value to double whatever your P scale is. Don't ask me why, no idea. But just keep that in mind when you're creating your values, may have to lower them a little bit to get what you're looking for. But if we wanna look at our curves, let's go ahead and just use this. We'll go back up to without the P scale on here. You know, again, this is just way too big. So let's go ahead, come in here and I'm gonna wire this back into our P scale. And let's set this down to like 0 .0, 0 0.01. That should be a decent value for the curves. And you can see that it's now affecting it like we would expect. And we can come in here and we take a look at our widths again. And again, they're gonna be double whatever we have for our P scale. Now, if we have our curves being used, we can actually right click and edit this property and it's going to work appropriately. So if we set this to 0 0.04, they're gonna double in size. If we set this to like 0.1, you see they're gonna go up to the value of 0.1 and they're all set to the correct value. It's no longer doubling whatever we put. So if you wanna do it that way, you can. And we can actually, I believe, just completely ignore the P scale and come in here and it works appropriately for our curves. Don't ask me why it doesn't work for particles, but for whatever reason, it doesn't work for particles. So not really sure what's going on there, but it does work for the curves. So just keep that in mind. If you don't want to add a uh, P scale attribute, you don't have to, you can just affect the widths through an edit property. So a little bit weird, like I said, but 
it is definitely something that you're going to need to know how to do and do effectively depending on what you're using you have to adapt what you're doing but just keep that in mind though so i do have a bunch of other videos on houdini if you want to learn more about houdini i do have some other stuff on karma so if you're interested in learning more about karma and material x solaris all that then check out those videos but i do have some other stuff on redshift uh, a little bit on cinema 4d octane and clarice as well so if you want to learn any of that make sure to check those videos out but hopefully this helps you out thank you guys for watching and have a good day